and welcome back to my channel uh, today I have a uh, beef stew recipe to share it's kind of a, an Asian fusion an actual beef stew that has potato in it the typical one that you see um, but the flavor wise it's more like um, Asian it's actually very Asian so the flavor is Asian but all the ingredients I use in this recipe is uh, very American um, in Asian recipe they don't use potato um, but I have potato in this recipe so the combo of the two it goes so well with your rice um, your noodle or even the bread typically this specific recipe um, they use the um, the Vietnamese bread the crispy one dip into the sauce and it's delicious um, but I am going to eat it with um, just instant noodle today pound of beef chuck, three stalks of celery, three carrots, four potatoes. For the spices, I use one tablespoon of chopped lemongrass, four cloves of chopped garlic, two cinnamon sticks, a few slices of ginger, one tablespoon of five spice powder, two tablespoons of brown sugar, 3 tablespoons of fish sauce, 4 tablespoons of tomato sauce, and half a tablespoon of salt. You also need 4 cups of water in this recipe and some oil for the cooking. Alright, so it is very important for, um, for the beef to marinate before you make the beef stew. It doesn't matter what recipe you follow, always marinate your beef for about half an hour to an hour um, before cooking. So in this specific recipe, I am going to marinate my beef with lemongrass and lemongrass gonna make the beef smell so good and unique and this is what distinguishes it uh, from um, any other recipe. So first add the lemongrass into the fish sauce along with the five spice, the brown sugar and the beef. Mix them all together Make sure they are well marinated, that's why I use my hand here. I like to mix my beef in my hand just only because it's you want to make sure that it's well marinated all around. So finger is the best option here. But of course you can use spoon to mix as well. And then leave aside for 30 minutes. So typically um, the, uh, the regular recipe supposed to have like two steps to the process um, but I'm making it a very lazy way you don't have to do it my way <laughs> um, but for me it's fast and easy and the entire uh, cooking process only takes me about two hours in total um, but it comes out as good um, but w the difference in the process here is that most people they would fry the beef first take it out and then cook the vegetable and then mix them all together into the pot um, in this recipe I uh, cook the meat with the vegetable and then dump it into my clay pot all right so let's get into the process first add some oil to the pan add the chopped garlic in and the next ingredients here is tomato sauce and then add the beef in while the beef going in, I also add the sliced ginger and also cinnamon sticks. Cook it in high heat for about a few minutes. Alright, so while I'm waiting for the uh, beef to cook, um, this is where I'm chopping the vegetable into small chunks like this. a few minutes and then transfer it to the pot add half a teaspoon of salt and bring it to boil in high heat once 
once it start boiling turn down the heat to low 3 out of 10 cook it for 1 hour an hour later add potato and cook for another 30 minutes I don't want to add any uh, cornstarch or flour into it so it looks uh, a little bit uh, um, light and watery but that's fine um, the whole point of this beef stew is that um, it's good for dipping with the, the bread and or eat with the noodles so you need some broth you cannot have it as dry as the American style beef stew and you can if you want to cut down the water or add some um, cornstarch or or flour into it uh, but for me um, this is it it's how exactly how it looks and I'm gonna try it out right now with with the noodle okay. as you could see the beef is like falling apart like this and that's what you want in um, in your stew the beef has to be breaking apart um, that's the, the whole point of beef stew Looks so good. The noodle, uh, carrots, you can live in a bigger chunk, but I like it small like this. Um, same thing as potatoes. People would live in a whole chunk, but I like it just a little bit smaller for for my for my mouth. Mm. Falling off. The flavor is perfect. Not too salty. Not too sweet. You can taste all the ingredients in there. The beef falls apart like apart easily it melts in your mouth and that's how the cooking process took to uh, to basically soften the meat so much this is beef ch uh, chuck by the way um, and it is best for stew or roasting um, I find that in the Asian recipe they use the one with the um, with some fat that tastes even better in my opinion I like the fatter one but I got a lot of beef now not a lot of fat and um, I want to try with the beef chuck the first time here using beef chuck for for this stew and um, it tastes as good but once again I would prefer the one with a lot of fat just to make the beef even more delicious but overall this is really good you taste the cinnamon you taste the five spice and that is what makes this beef so unique. You can eat it with fur too. You like the actual, not fur, the actual noodle, the fur noodle. With this also goes so well. In Asia, it's everywhere. But um, typically, they don't put a uh, white potato in there. Um, this is my uh, fusion type of recipe. So um, try it out and let me know in the comment box below if you like it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!